Well, hello. So today is another episode of how to make your own paper transformers in Illustrator. So, how what we're going to do in honor of our new subscribers, and you know who you are, a specific person that just subscribes to me. Uh, we're going to start off with Starscream. So we haven't had we haven't done Starscream. We're going to choose an image that best represents the character in a way that we can draw it in a boxy format. And I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with this one right here. Uh, it's a chill, very cool star screen. So I'm going to view image. I'm going to click there. I'm going to take this. I'm going to save that image. Save as. And I'm going to put it in this particular folder, which is a collection of just stuff that I've used. Um, so I have that there. Now I'm going to go back to my Illustrator file. I'm going to create a new file. It's going to be called new. And it's going to be letter 8.511. I gave myself seven artboards so that that way, because I have a surprise for you, uh, Starscream is going to combine with other people. So we'll see what how that works out. So Star Force, we're going to call it uh, Dark Star Force. There, the Dark Star Force. Ooh, scary. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to first place our image as our inspiration and our color board as well so we're gonna look where we downloaded star scream star scream where are you where are you buddy uh is he anywhere around let's see there he is all right so i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna put that right there is my inspiration board and i'm gonna enlarge it a little bit I can go ahead and delete this file later, but I'm going to put it right there so that, that way I know. So now what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to start with my boxes. So I'm going to start big just so that um, you can all see what you're doing. So I'm, I'm, it's not going to be a box. It's going to be your basic transformer body box. It's going to be about that. And then it, we're going to create an arm right here. And then we're going to create a leg right here. So we, so there we have, and then we're going to create the head right here. Now all of these things can be tweaked, but we want to make it off the top of our head just to have a shape of a body. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to align everything. Now how I did that is I did that with the square rectangle tool, so I created it like that. So then now I'm going to align these two. So that, that way, that tool right there, it brings them up forward. And may, the arm, I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. And I'm going to bring it all the way to the side. So there we go. I'm going to move that in there. So now I'm going to go, go ahead and I'm going to group everything. I'm going to object, group, and there we go. And that's my basic shape that I'm working with right now. Notice how I didn't do the other arm or the other leg because basically we're going to take this shape and we're going to copy it and we're going to take this shape and copy it once we design it in a very neat way. So first what we want to do is we want to shrink our character. So you're going to hold shift in, at, in at IBM PC thing and you're going to shrink that character. Now the way that you're going to zoom in is you're going to hold alt and you're going to zoom in right there. Now we need a wing. So we need a wing. So we need to look at Starscream's wing. We're going to pull out a little bit. Notice how it goes up and like that. So I'm going to create, hmm, how am I going to do this? I'm going to pick a polygon tool. And I'm going to do that. There we go. So I'm going to bring a polygon tool. And how am I going to shape it? I'm going to use my there's many different ways you can do this actually but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the white arrow and I'm going to pull that over here and I'm going to bring this and I'm going to pull it up here and I'm going to bring this and I'm going to pull it down here and then I'm going to bring this and I'm going to pull it down here um, maybe get rid of this one it doesn't seem like I really need this one or I could bring it in right here and then there we go now this has to align with this right here so and notice there's another little shape right here that we can create right on the chest so do we really need to go that far no because this is a folding transformer so you want to make it so that way it folds in a proper way so we're going to try to align this little character right here just perfect there we go 
now we've got our, our wing. We're going to bring it right down here. That's way too big, ain't it? So how do we shrink it? We hold shift and we bring it in. That way it holds its whole, its entire shape. And there we go. There, that's the wing. Now, what we need to do is we need to darken it, maybe a little bit darken the stroke so that, that way we can see it. And maybe in the entire character altogether, we can darken the entire stroke by one point. So there we have our shape right there. Now, what we want to do is we want to work on the wing. So let's look at the shapes of the wing. So we've got that white element right there. So we want to start designing it. So it's a white stripe. Let's look at it again. That goes all the way down here. So the way that I can do this is perhaps with either a pen tool. I'm going to use, ooh, I'm thinking a pen tool would probably be best. So I'm going to bring, start with a pen tool. I'm going to bring this down here. I'm going to pull it right there. I'm going to, and then I'm going to create another point. Ooh, what am I doing? Uh, see, that's not what I want. So I'm going to use my white point tool and bear with me, you guys. There we go. And then I'm going to bring this in right here like that. Oh, what am I doing? See, what I wanted to do is I wanted to, um, but I can always click here. And then, no, this is, and I can always bring that. Then twist this. See, it, a lot of it is playing around. You're like, you don't know Illustrator. I'm like, I'm learning too, you guys. So then you want to play around with it. So that's that's what the fun of playing around with it. See, look, it's coming. There we go. The shape is coming. So there we go. We've got a little bit of a loose shape. Uh, we can always bring this in. Maybe tighten it a little bit more. Here, okay, there we go, and then maybe we can bring this out. We can always add an extra point right here, and you can go here, and then you can hold it, and then add anchor point, and then you can add an anchor point right there, and then you can bring this, and then say, hey, listen, I want this more right here, and there we go. Now it is a dark shape, so what we want to do is we want to select that shape. And we want to hold that and then we want to make it red. And we want to make it a darker stroke because that's the color that it is. So there we go. So now we've got something that kind of resembles. You see what see what's happening right there. So we've got the wing right now. So we're going to go till the video stops recording, which I believe is 10 minutes. So now we want to look at the arm. Let's look at the arm. So we've got a white 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 square black square and fingers so white white square so what we want to do is we want to go to the square tool and you know what we're going to go to a, with a rounded rectangle that's what we're going to go with we're going to go with a rounded rectangle and so it's white white blue blue so i'm going with that so that's not the stroke that we want we want maybe like a 0.5 and then we don't even want it in that color we want it in, in a, maybe a black maybe even a blue let's play around with the different color shapes that we have maybe a dark blue because star scream does have blue in him so and then we're going to do another shape we're going to take this shape and we're going to uh no we're going to make a brand new shape we're going to go right there so there's another shape and we're going to bring that all the way up here now what you could do at this particular point now these other two blocks will be, I'm going to make them um, the same, the same, yeah, I'm going to make them the same. And so I'm going to make another block right there. And so I'm going to bring this one up a little bit more. And here is where I'm going to put the fingers. So the way that I'm going to put the fingers is I'm just going to make a line. Very simple. You know, you can get a little bit more elaborate if you'd like. But it's just simple. You just, if you'd like to cut them, you can cut them. I sometimes do. I sometimes don't. That way, I can put slip in little guns or whatever that are in there. Uh, uh, only play guns. Only paper play guns can be fit in there. That's what's fun about these paper transformers. So we've got those shapes. Now we want to darken the shape. So what we want to do is we want to go right.
right here. We want to pick that color. There we go. Maybe even that color. That's a little bit closer to the color. Now what you can do if you